As part of the Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program, the Philippine Air Force has raised the multi-role fighter, MRF, acquisition project calling for the purchase and induction of at least 12 multi-role fighters to become the premier air combat aircraft of the country. The project approved budget for contract is 61 billion 200 million pesos or approximately 1.2 billion US dollars and will be acquired via negotiated procurement, government to government. During the early stage of the project, several models were considered, including the Boeing FA-18E-F Super Hornet, Lockheed Martin F-16C-D Block 7072 Viper, Saab JAS 39C-D Gripen and JAS 39E-F Gripen E, MiG-35 Fulcrum F and Sukhoi Su-35 Flanker E. In the end, the POFs technical working group for the project shortlisted the JAS 39C-D Gripen and the Lockheed Martin F-16C-D Block 7072 Viper. Max Defense Philippine sources confirmed that as early as August 2019, the POF TWG for the multi-role fighter acquisition project has selected the Lockheed Martin F-16C-D Block 70 Viper, which topped the selection over the other shortlisted model, the Saab JAS 39C-D Gripen MS-20. During that time no complete information was provided on why the F-16 Viper was selected over the JAS 39 Gripen, but it appears that interoperability, performance, and support from the Pentagon through several defense cooperation programs with the Philippine government are the main reasons. Last October 30, 2019, during the senior leaders meeting which was attended by all senior DND, AFP and POF leaders including Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana, it was confirmed that senior leaders has approved the implementation of the multi-role fighter acquisition project based on the offer made by Lockheed Martin. This will now be forwarded to Malacanang and to the Department of Budget and Management for final approval and appropriation of funding. The government will only need to make sure there is funding for the initial deposit requirements which is around 15% or around 9 billion of the total value of the project. Max Defense Philippines received information that the DBM was asked to give importance to the PMRF acquisition over all other big-ticket projects of other armed services, considering the POF's MRF acquisition is the costliest defense project to be undertaken by the Philippines in its entire history. Despite Lockheed Martin's F-16 Block 70 Viper being selected by the POF TWG and POF leadership, and supported by the DND, it appears that the negotiations between the DND and Lockheed Martin has reached a deadlock due to pricing issues. According to Max Defense sources, Lockheed Martin has revised its pricing and proposal to the DND and POF, with the revised cost now higher than before. The price increase was significant enough for the DND to step on the brakes and rediscuss the project with the POF leadership and technical working group, and reopen the lines of communication with Saab. With funding still a problem and has not been secured up until now, this setback could be a reason why the MRF acquisition project as well as the MRF munition system acquisition project were not among those given funding priority under the Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program for fiscal year 2021. Should Lockheed Martin or the US government fail to untangle this setback with the DND, there is a likelihood that Saab might come back to the negotiating table and offer a better deal to the DND and POF than the last proposal they made.